In 2009, Detroit, Michigan discovered 11,000 rape kits there were never tested. Since then, they've worked to bring victims justice and find out why so many cases were ignored for so many years. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy said investigators' attitudes toward rape survivors was the main culprit. Did little to no investigation, um, discarded them completely, did not take them seriously. Uh, so that's a part of the rape culture. Since launching its rape kit project, Detroit has now tested every single one of the sexual assault kits. The investigation has led to 146 convictions so far and identified 820 serial rapists. That have been left alone to rape with impunity. And there are many of these women would not have been raped at all if their kit, the kits had been tested. And we had um, prosecuted these perpetrators before they got to new victims. Last week, we found out Birmingham has about 3,400 rape kits it never sent to a lab. That's 87% of what it has collected since the 1990s. I don't know how you can turn your back on these survivors. It, to me, it's just human decency to look back into these cases. We certainly wouldn't be treating a cold case homicide like that. Birmingham police and its mayor have pledged to help clear out the backlog to deliver sexual assault victims the justice they deserve. Now, while the reason for their backlogs may differ, the rate of untested kits in Detroit and Birmingham is equal. When you factor in the population of each city, the number of untested sexual assault kits for Birmingham and Detroit is 16 per 1,000 residents. 